Hello, Cancer. It's your turn for your reading for mid-September to October of this current year. Da, 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 da. Hope you all are doing well. Thanks to everybody who watches and subs to my videos and gets readings by the way. I greatly appreciate y'all. Love yous. Mwah. Everybody else who's new and of course all who are familiar. Cancer, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Check your chart if this resonates with you. Good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It's just a card game after all. Won't work if you don't believe in it, right? Just boop yourself on the nose and away we go. Also, if you want a personal reading, my email, Facebook, Instagram, all in the description box below. Newcomers, first reading is on the house. Everything else afterwards comes with the price and... I you accept tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Cancer, you got the Wheel of Fortune so far. Things are turning in your favor. Cool. Ew, look at you. You got days of pentacles. Ew, look at you go. You even got a cat praising you on a cloud. There you are. There you go. Look at y'all go, right? Thoughts and feelings, though, you don't feel like fighting anybody. Which is like, oh, okay. Dude, you got like a good spread so far, so I don't know what that's about in the thoughts and feelings. It's like you don't want to argue with somebody, or there's some battle that like you're just trying not to get into right now. Which, I don't blame you. Like, if I was about to get like something that looks like this so far, well, I don't know. It could be one of those trap scenarios. Uh, the root of that is something from the past that you're taking in reference to the future, possibly a person. Look, you got two aces. I'm going to have to flip them, but that's okay. Uh, Ace of Wands and the Ace of Pentacles. Ew. But there is some spoilt spilt milk that has been on the table for three weeks that someone is still crying about because it was the last of the milk. It was just like, I had to go to the store. Do you understand how terrible it was? <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, that's how someone's feeling. Just a little bit. Oh, you got the lovers down here. Gemini had that too. Hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. What's your vibration there, my dear Cancers? Also, cross watch or switch where you need to. Take everything you need and leave the rest with a grain of salt. The Knight of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. You might be wanting or wanting somebody to write in with an offer. Maybe you're being slow to deliver an offer, but it is being made. Someone's being projected right here, and it's kind of like, you know, like, I'm slowly making my way to you. But the horse's feet are made of, like, tree stumps, so it's going to take a bit, you know. <coughs> Ugh. Terrible, man. I sound like I'm dying. Anyway. Mm, cancer, yours looks pretty well, but it's like... This is almost like a new star with somebody, but there's a lot of shit right here that, like, was left for too long, I feel like. Like, the milk, like I said, the milk was spilt like three weeks ago and nobody cleaned it up because they were too busy crying over it. And it was like they expected another person to clean up the mess for them. But that's in between. Either way, it's like, hmm. Wheel of Fortune, right? Sagittarius's energy. The wheel is turning. Uh, you want to preserve, endure, keep in that fight with the Seven of Wands, Cancer. In order to get the gifts and bounties from the past like you did before with the Six of Coin. And have Master and Domination, possibly Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Gemini is also down here as well. Domination, Mastery with the King of Swords. There might be something that you want. And you're making it well known. Cancer. Um, you're fighting for something from the past. Or you're trying to move to something from the past. Maybe get some truth in here with the King of Swords. Or just cut a motherfucker down. Could be either or. You take your little pick. Okay? Okay. Ace of Pentacles down here, though. We got... Someone's got a mouth. 
But it's a big offer. This offer is rooted in something. But someone's got a mouth. It's like they release secrets too much or they're quick to say some shit. Uh, oh, Cancer, that's you. This person might say something that pisses you right off and makes you lose your shit. You know, it's like someone, I don't know, like what would be a shitty thing to say to a Cancer to piss them off? Uh, oh, I know. Um, is, is, do you have anything to actually contribute to the situation or are you just going to sit here and waste my time? Like someone would say that shit to you and that would eat at you a lot. It's like, isn't, and I don't even think it's the way, it's what they said. I think it's the way they're going to say it that's going to get to you more than anything. Like that cold, I really don't give a shit if this hurts your feeling kind of vibe. And that just, might just set you off a little bit. In order to get you to communicate, maybe? Or in order to communicate? Maybe get you to open your mouth? But if I reverse this, it's like... Someone's not opening up about the secrets. See, possibly you, Cancer, in order to open communication. Someone might be keeping their mouth shut this way. But it's this way. So it's like someone might be like... someone. You could be waiting for an offer for someone with a fresh mouth. And they might start a fresh mouth conversation with you. Just to get you to start opening up or some shit. That's kind of weird. But that was the offer right there. So let's see. So this Wheel of Fortune where this wheel is turning. You know, gifts are really funny. Right here, this gift and bounty card. Gifts are funny because not all gifts are light. You know? I feel like somebody left you a gift and you've been fighting it. But now it's like the perceptions there or whatever, Cancer. Oh, Lord, and you're all pissed off about it. Okay, okay, well, you know, it, that happens. That, there's no reason to get upset about such things, you know. But, like, you are very nettled. You are nettled, you are angry. <laughs> Like, this king is swords reverse right here. He doesn't say anything. He's too busy saying hard shit to say anything. Um, you know, might be dealing with a Capricorn. Or it could be somebody you... Someone you or the person you're dealing with could be cross-watchers. Someone might be obsessed here. And that's probably why this relationship is not very good. That's why the devil's in here. And this emperor person is just not paying any sorts of attention. He's just like, I don't see a fucking thing. It's like when he gets, it's like when the king of swords gets older, like, oh god, yeah, yeah. Of course the emperor would show up. It always happens that way, I swear. But yeah, it's kind of like when he gets older, he just doesn't even want to pay attention to it. He's just like, I don't know what you're talking about. Down here with this ace of pentacles, right? Someone needs to let their guard down about this whole, like, separation of the souls, I feel like, with temperance. Or being really, really impatient about getting an offer from the Knight of Pentacles in order to offer to this right here, right? But, since this, we got this ace right here, we're going to flip this too. And someone's got their guard up about coming into some sort of, like, union or togetherness. Possibly with the Sagittarius or whatever. But it's not getting delivered. Knight of Pentacles. Or he's just, like, I don't know. Very, very different. Sorry, Edward. Anyway. Oh, that's the wrong deck. Cancer. Prince of Swords. Reverse. This is your thoughts and feelings, right? We also got the Ace of Swords. At the bottom of the deck, currently. That be some truth bombs. You guys either have a lot of air in your chart, you're dealing with an air sign. One of the two. A lot of swords here, though. So what's with this Prince of Swords reverse? Why isn't he trying to fight? He's already got his old body mangled and messed up, and now he doesn't want to actually go in to fight for this Ace of Wands right here. He might just be shying away from battle. That's the wrong idea. That wasn't the most... It wasn't dynamic. It wasn't powerful. It did not achieve some sort of... um. I heard so what. 
Like, who said that? <laughs> who said that? Like, who's being shy and timid about that? You know, who's being defensive? Like, who said that? <laughs> so what? So what? Well, that's, that's, that, well, there you go. That's the so what, whoever said that. I don't know who said that, but I heard it. The wrong idea kept somebody tortured and crucified. So that wasn't the best choice to make. And now, Cancer, you might all be... Mm, Spellbinding and charismatic, you are not right now. Or maybe you feel like your like charisma failed. Maybe you just didn't roll like the dice and you got like a 2 instead of a 20. That could be possible too. Or maybe you felt like you were trapped for some reason or being tortured yourself and it was the wrong idea and now you're just kind of like, you know, thrown off your guard just being like, whoa, 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 what? What? Really? Like, that is surprising, you know? The root of this feeling, right? Six of Cups reverse. Someone from the past or just a situation that you're taking as reference to the future, right? Coming out of illusions and secrets and lies. It could be you or a Pisces. About not making some sort of bold decision to run, I guess, to this Knight of Pentacles. Mind you, someone thought he was going to run over here. Or, well, not run, just like trot slowly over here. Um, but he's going this way instead. Hmm. That's interesting. Like, coming out of some illusions. Secrets lies about not running after or not going towards a decision that would have led. It's like they ran away thinking they could get away from the distress and confusion, which it was not. Or something, Cancer. I'm not sure. This one's slightly. Everyone's has been confusing, and I don't know if it's like the energy just acting all weird or what. Let's see. This Prince of Swords up here. It's definitely looking over everything. Taking everything in. It's just like, what have I created in my garden? Pretty much. Not a new start. That's what... Well, that's pretty much the stem of it. It's just like... It's like he's realizing what he has planted. Didn't lead to the initial thing that was going to begin that he wanted to, I think. Possibly with an Empress Reverse. So, Aries, Taurus... Libra, Venetian energy, that just love dub dub. She's kinda like bitter a little bit too. Like someone tried offering her a stick and she's just like, I got my own stick and it's for an empress. What is this? You brought me like well thank goodness you took all the branches off the side of it, except for, you know, you didn't and there are even still leaves on it. I have stars on my crown, for fuck's sakes, you should have brought me better. Like I, get, I feel like somebody had that attitude, Cancer. Like someone didn't start because somebody was all... Ooh. Either you or the person you dealt with was like all uppity, like spoiled, I feel like. Down here with the Six of Cups reverse. You want to offer your cup? Or you want someone to offer your cup? Could also be a Pisces or a Scorpio. So... You, the decision can be made, but... Okay, someone wants to offer a cup so a decision can be made. Or a decision should have been made. But now it's like the cups are knocked over and someone can't move forward with it. Wait, wait, hold up. No, I'm... I'm fucking wrong. Hold on. Cancer, this is like in the Six of Cups, someone's looking to the past as a reference, right? Because that's how I read this card. And it's more like after all the illusions, the lies, the secrets, after all that quelled out, it was like there was a realization that someone ran in order 
to leave the stress and confusion. Like, this knight is going this way. He's not coming in this direction. He just passed that bitch by. Now we have you wanting to possibly offer your cup or someone's coming to offer their cup to you. But that person's decided, you know, like, I'm too stressed about this shit to go to these cups. Um, I'm still looking over here with these cups. That's why I'm riding away. But bye you know? Hmm. Prince of Pentacles. Capricorn Taurus Virgo energy once again. He's over here, but he's riding away from all of this, right? That might be your vibration, or this could be the person you're dealing with. They ride away to that ace of coin. Um, and they are separating. They are just not, because like someone was an overbearing dick. There's something about this emperor that they really did not like, and both of the knight of swords are out here, so he definitely was not on his best behavior, I feel like. You know? Um, there should have been... I think they want to offer their cup to you. Or you want to offer their cup to you. Um, but everything ended a little bit fucky, Cancer. And that's why they had to leave. It was just like, I would offer you my cup to make the Nine of Cups. But I'm taking my cup and I'm gone. <laughs> I think this person might have offered their cup to you, Cancer. And like, it, everything ended up fucky and then they walked away. I don't know what ended up fucky or what happened, but it's something to do with this Emperor. Once again, Aries. Great. So that is Ace of Swords. Remember, I'm flipping everything, too. There's a new beginning, and it comes with a totality and wholeness new cycle. With the Nine of Wands, though, where it's like you're guarded because you're all dazed and confused. It's just like, what the hell just happened? What? I don't understand. I, I don't want to deal with this over here at all. I'm just going to keep looking this way because it makes me feel safer I'm looking at this new thing while a page of coins it definitely could be an earth sign you're dealing with runs away right however if we flip it because of this other ace here we go thank you very kindly everything ended fucky someone should have let their guard down or someone's letting their guard down after someone's like left or left without a message basically their guards let down, and, like, everything is just fucky. There was just something that, like, was just all crazy-like and shit, right? Five of Cups reverse, and he's over here, too. You know? Mourning over shit. Someone definitely feels like they should have made a choice here. His milk is like three weeks old. Cancer, you might be in your feelings and you might be cursing up a storm at people. Right? Because uh, you feel blacked, clouded. You feel like you're a little bit tortured with the Ten of Swords. And you're not entirely sure what to cut out with the Queen of Swords, right? Or you feel trapped by a Queen of Swords. Swords have been showing up this entire time. This actually could be a counterpart to the King of Swords, too. With the lovers down. Ah! With the lovers down here... You're just like, blah, and such, right? I feel like you don't know what you're going to do with the situation. You, you're, you're just all up in your emotions. They're all highs and lows. And you're not sure what to make of it. Just because you're all heartbroken. And sad. Because this emperor, empress is still fucking reverse. You got a lot of pain and grief about her. I feel like you're just now, like, it's either you or it's someone else you're dealing with, but someone is just now, um, feeling the effects of heartbreak, I feel like. Like, did you break up with somebody, Cancer, or just leave them all high and dry? Because that could happen, you know. Either or. Alright, back up to the top. Ace of Wands right here. There is a lot of unfairness going around, man. Like, someone wasn't being treated right. Wanted to end all the conflict and the petty arguments. Because it made them feel insecure and such, right? We got the Five of Cups Reverse. Yeah, someone was wasting time being a martyr. Didn't get to that crossroads and move after that. Yeah, they, I just said they didn't move. Thank you 
for clarifying that or confirming that or whatever. But yeah, like someone was just hanging around. They didn't t make a move. They didn't get the go. They didn't get the booty. They didn't get the booty. I just said that. <laughs> I literally just said that. But yeah, it's like um, they they literally wasted time not doing anything to get the booty. Like ten booty right there. Okay, what's this last one? The lovers, right? Someone, wow, that literally, okay. Last row, cancer. Might be mulling over how things went over. You might be feeling like, oh, I had an opportunity. Possibly with the king of pentacles. Once again, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Someone might, you might be stressed or they might be stressed. And then, clarity. I don't want one more because it's just like, what do you get clarity about? What's that? Oh, I guess I get three more. Uh, that the separation brought a victory out and y'all are still going to be separated. Someone was victorious after um, a breakup cancer. That's what I see. Most likely you, but that's what I'm gathering. I don't know. It's for you guys to decide, really. I'm just a messenger after all. Anyway, that's the end of the video. So if you enjoyed this, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. You don't have to, but I greatly appreciate it. Um, I hope you all have a good day, and I'll see you later. Deuces.